All right, something I want to show you guys real quick. No real big introduction needed. It's something that I hear about all the time and owners, customers, people who own carbureted bikes, they often complain about this one particular component not working the way it should. And that particular component is the choke plunger. This is the choke little rod that you pull or push in when you're done using it or when you're about to use it to start the bike up on a cold morning. Maybe your bike runs like crap and you wanna, you know, there's a number of different ways to use choke. But mainly a cold, a cold start in Richner circuit. But there's one problem with it that I wanna show you guys that is super easy to fix and it's super annoying to deal with, but you can solve it literally in a matter of seconds. So, very common choke plunger right here. It's the 09750 single carb. Very, very common. Sometimes they're up, up top, but this one's right here, okay? But the problem that people run into is that you go to use it, when they pull it out, it tends to just fall and drop back in. So sometimes they'll have to hold it, they feel like, or because it's not working the way it should be, but it just kind of falls and slowly works its way right back in, use of the spring or plunger that's on the other side. But there's a way to solve this. So right behind this, this is what, this is the, the hold that it kind of fastens into. There's a little 17 millimeter lock that right behind here that you can just loosen up. All right, right behind this rubber grommet is a little dial. Look, look how loose that is. And it tightens these little feet, right, that's holding on to this rod. So without that dial, it's going to fall back in every time. Sometimes they're even, they're way too hard to pull out. This is the same thing. You can solve the problem. So I'm going to screw this little lock nut on there, which is almost like an adjuster piece. Just kind of finger tight. I'm going to put this little rubber seal back over it. And you can honestly leave this rubber seal on there if you want to. But that's already staying better. If I, if I loosen it by just spinning it, it falls back in. If I tighten it up a lot, it's going to be pretty stout. It ain't going to go nowhere. All right, It's going to be pretty hard to pull in and push out. Which is what most people want. They don't want to hold the choke while they're trying to warm their bike up. Right here, it's right behind this rubber boot, guys. It's a dial. You can loosen and tighten the way that it responds and the way that you want it to be used, which is obviously, you want it to open up and stay open when you're trying to start the stupid bike. All right, super quick video. Nothing that is gonna blow your mind or anything like that, but it's very usable technique and I do it all the time. Customers will call back Hey man, my choke won't, won't stay open or I have, to, I have to hold it open right behind a dial. It's kind of hard to explain because you're like, yeah, behind a black plunger, there's a little rod there. When the rod's there, there's a little rubber seal. And when the rubber seal's there, pull the seal back, there's a little screw there. Tighten the rubber screw, then loosen it, then tighten it back up. You know, all that garbage. This is so much easier just to show you guys how easy it is to make the adjustment and to solve a very frustrating problem. That's it. You guys take it easy. Ride safe. Motorcycle MD. We're out.